हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम डॉक्टर अनिशा कंसल्टेंट ऑब्सिडेशन एट फर्नांडिस हॉस्पिटल्स आई लुक आफ्टर वीमेन विथ मेडिकल डिसऑर्डर्स ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी एंड आल्सो हेल्प वीमेन ऑप्टिमाइज देयर हेल्थ बिफोर प्लानिंग अ प्रेगनेंसी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाइपर और हाई ब्लड प्रेशर एंड प्रियलैम्जिया इन प्रेगनेंसी सम वीमेन हैव हाई ब्लड प्रेशर बिफोर प्रेगनेंसी This is called chronic hypertension. While some of them have high blood pressure unique to pregnancy, it develops during pregnancy. This is called preeclampsia. Preeclampsia can put the mother and her baby at risk for complications during pregnancy and after delivery. Almost 10 to 12% of pregnant women have preeclampsia. However, with good blood pressure control, you and your baby are more likely to stay healthy. Complications from high blood pressure for the mother and infant can include the following. For mother, she can develop eclampsia that is seizures, stroke that is a blood clot or bleed in the brain. the need of induction of labor that is giving medications to start labor to give birth and placental abruption that is the placenta separating prematurely from the wall of the uterus and increased need of cesarean section while the baby may have preterm delivery that is birth that happens before 37 weeks of pregnancy and low birth weight the mother's high blood pressure makes it more difficult for the baby to get enough oxygen and nutrients to grow so the mother may have to deliver the baby early there is also an increased risk of stillbirth in women with preeclampsia so what can you do if you have high blood pressure before during or after pregnancy well The most important thing to do is to talk to your healthcare team about any blood pressure problems so that you can get the right treatment and control your blood pressure before you get pregnant. Getting treatment for high blood pressure is important before, during and after pregnancy. If you have chronic hypertension it is important to optimize your health before planning pregnancy like you may have to lose weight if you are overweight or you may have to work on your cholesterol levels it is also important to see if hypertension has caused complications to other organs such as heart kidneys and eyes take your medications in time stop any nicotine or alcohol consumption in all forms during pregnancy get early and regular checkups go to every appointment with your doctor do not miss any appointments talk to your doctor about any medications you take do not stop or start taking any type of medicine including over the counter medicines without first talking with your doctor keep a track of your blood pressure at home with a bp monitor contact your doctor if your blood pressure is higher than usual or if you have symptoms of preeclampsia continue to choose healthy foods and keep a healthy weight you might need to get admitted if your bp is high or any other complications arise After the childbirth you may need to stay longer than usual in the hospital you may be prescribed home medications to control blood pressure at home pay attention to how you feel see if you have any symptoms of preeclampsia if you had high blood pressure during pregnancy you have a higher risk of stroke and other problems during delivery and after delivery So tell your doctor or visit the emergency room right away if you have symptoms of preeclampsia after delivery or your blood pressure is high or you are uncomfortable at home. 